close your eyes and breathe deeply. Notice how the breathing feels. If deep breathing feels good, keep it up. Keep trying to be on top of what the body needs right now in terms of the breath. Because the breath is not just the air coming in and out through the nose, it's the whole movement of energy down through the body. That's what exercises the body, enlivens the body. And so let that, that flow of energy go all the way down so it nourishes the whole body. This is free nourishment for the body. There's, there are a lot of good things in life that are free. The breath is one of them. You can make a, a lot out of the breath. You can make it a means for soothing the body. You can make it a means for giving the mind a good place to stay in the present moment, a place where it can settle down and rest. And as you settle down and rest with the, the breath, then you start understanding a lot more about what's going on in the mind. As you get more sensitive with the breath, you begin to see there are ways in which you create unnecessary suffering for yourself. And that gives you a good lesson about other things that go deeper into the mind, about how we live in this world. And there's, it's hard enough being in the world, but then we add more and more burdens on top of ourselves, which are totally unnecessary. And that's what we're trying to learn here. Where are those unnecessary burdens and how can you put them down? We start by learning about simple things like this, just simply the way you relate to your breath. In what way are you suppressing the breath? In what ways are you making it tight and confined, where it doesn't have to be? The breath can be an energy that suffuses the whole body. Let it do that. You see that the way you change your perceptions is going to change the way things appear, the way things actually are. That gives you an important lesson for the mind as well. There are a lot of perceptions, in other, in other words, ideas that we hold that this is this and that's that, and we hold on to them tight, and yet they're making us suffer. So you want to look and see, okay, where is there any unnecessary suffering right here that you're contributing? That's the lesson. As for what other people are piling on top of you, it doesn't weigh down on the mind unless you let it weigh down. That's what you got to see. And John Sowat made the comment one time, that mountain over there on the horizon, is it heavy? And the answer, of course, is if you try to pick it up, yes, it's heavy, but if you don't try to pick it up, it's not heavy on you. There are a lot of things that we pick up that we don't have to pick up in this life. And it turns out that all the things that are causing the mind to suffer are things that we've picked up unnecessarily. So you want to learn how to see that. Start penetrating in, because it gets more and more subtle as you go deeper into the mind. But if you get the mind to be nice and solid and concentrated, you can see. And you can learn how to put down those burdens. This is what's really good about the Buddha's teachings.